I've had several people ask me to take a look at some tents. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to take a look at a Zion two-person tent from the folks at Hike and Bike. And it's a pretty cool tent. It's got some pretty cool features. And one of them, believe it or not, I'm holding it in my hand. If you want to see what that is, stay tuned because that's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian, thanks for joining me. So you may know that I'm a Scoutmaster, and as such, I do a pretty good a bit of camping, and I'm pretty familiar with a lot of different kind of tents and stuff. I personally use a, uh, a hammock usually when I'm camping, but uh, sometimes you just can't use a hammock. If, if, you, if you go to Philmont, if you've been to Philmont, if you're going to Philmont, you may know that you can't take a hammock there. Um, a lot of places there are no trees and plus they're really concerned about the damage that hammock straps and ropes do to trees when a lot of people are using you know, using the same area so tents are important a lot of places you just can't use hammocks when it's really cold weather you can't blah 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 i'm rambling on about the the, the advantages of hammocks versus tents and that's not what this video is about so the folks at hiking bike were kind enough to send me one of their zion two-person tents so i can show it to you um you may not be familiar with hiking bike but they're they're, they're manufacturers pretty high quality camping gear they're actually one of the top sellers of down sleeping bags on amazon in the last couple of years and they've come out with this line of tents several months back they're actually coming out with uh you see this was like a really bright yellow color and the tent itself is kind of green uh, they're coming out with a few other colors and, and fabric options in the next coming months so stay tuned for that but pretty cool tent there this is one of those that you can actually set up um in several different configurations i'll show you the setup at kind of fast speed and maybe um do a little bit of overdubbing in the old survival on purpose studio here and talk about what's going on so let me just show you how this thing sets up give you a little bit of setup on this um i decided to set it up um as i would in a rain so basically you set the, the this it comes with a uh, the footprint and everything's included it's got the footprint it's got the rain fly it's got 8.5 millimeter aluminum poles gives you these nice aluminum stakes it's got like fluorescent marked guidelines it comes with the gear storage loft it comes with the footprint it comes with the uh comes with a bag comes with a really nice poles and it's like a one pole setup so what i did uh, was i set up the fly first so that's what that's what you probably want to do if it's raining when you're setting up and sometimes that happens especially in the boy scouts then um you set the tent up underneath and your tent stays pretty dry and you don't have to worry about rain getting inside your tent while you're setting up the fly so you set the fly up first keep the tent in the bag and then go ahead and set the tent up under the fly and everything stays drier that way it's just a little uh a little trick but it also gives you the option if you really want to go ultralight you're not it's, it's not bug season you can leave the tent at home and just set up the rain fly itself as a um as a shelter to keep the rain off of you and you don't have to carry the weight of the tent so it's got several different weight options instead of me going over all that right now i'll put it in the description to this video below there'll be a link to their website it's going to have all that information too so you can check their website or amazon it'll have the price on it there'll be links in the description so anyway um let's, let's cut to that show you how this thing sets up um and i'll do my kind of overdub fancy narration and then we'll wrap this thing up okay this is the highly professional voiceover portion of the video and you can see that it came in a nice little sack uh what i want to do is put out the ground cloth first then open up the uh, poles this tent features a single pole design where everything is is basically connected by shock cords it's got hubs in the center basically you just want to put each of the poles into the corner of the footprint and they've got little metal grommets and the poles just stick in the grommets basically then um in this case we'll get the rain fly out first unfold it out where it's over the right place you can see one little pole across the top that's going to go on last there's little pockets in the rain fly to catch that but the ends of the poles have a long enough uh, kind of a ferrule on them to catch all the grommets that you need to need to poke them in so poke them in that's a nice um technical term for tent setup basically just uh you want to put the uh top little little wing pole there out to kind of spread it out you put it in the pockets you can see me crawl around in there and you've got everything in the uh, connected to the poles Let's go ahead and open up the flap so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but finally we're going to take the tent out. I'm going to put it inside and basically lift up the corners and just put the uh, ends of the poles in the grommets on the corners of the tent. So basically got all three, um, both the footprint, the rain fly, and the tent stacked on the bottom of the tent poles. Then it just has clips that you clip it to the pole frame, so it's kind of self-supporting. I want you to get everything clipped up and just fasten the top spreader bar to the tent and you're pretty much good to go you can see it comes with some very nice um, tent stakes 
Um, I always set it up first, it's a little easier, and then stake it out. You can do it either way. But once you get it all staked out, just kind of put tension on it, then it's, it's pretty much where you need it. Um, it also has, it comes with like some um, little vents on either end with the little stiffeners that you kind of hold it out to give you a little bit of a, a, little bit of a dormer effect there. And then stake out the uh, vestibule. It has a vestibule on both sides along with doors on both sides. And it also comes with a pretty nice little cord that has its own tensioners with it. So you can, you can tie out the rain fly and, and really get it spread out even a little further. See the tensioners there, sort of. Um, and then um, basically you pull those out if you, if you want to. It gives you a little more ventilation underneath the rain fly and kind of spreads it out a little more. And you can use them or not. But once those are done, the tent is pretty much done. Okay, so that was how the, how the setup is. I like the fact that it's a one pole setup, so you don't have to fiddle with a bunch of poles. You know, if you don't, you're not going to lose the poles, hopefully. You know, you're just going to... Actually, the first time I went camping with my wife, we had a big old canvas tent. I set it up, and there was a pole missing. Um, I wound up having to cut a branch off of, of a green branch, whittle down a pole, and craft a pole that would at least get us through the weekend. It rained on us took the tent down yet the pole was under the tent so another story all entirely but the bottom line this is a one pole setup everything shot cord together uh, as you saw it's a pretty cool setup I like the way that works um, I like the fact that it has YKK zippers I like the uh, kind of glow-in-the-dark lines and moorings and other glow-in-the-dark features on it, it kind of helps you find it at night when you're in a, have a flashlight going I really like the aluminum tent stakes and I guess I'll go ahead and tell you the, the secret thing that I really like. I've never seen before. That was called a pusher. It's just a little aluminum disc with a, with a hole in the middle of it that fits the top of these tent stakes. Allows you to push them in. Um, if you've never had to deal with that, these things can get pretty sharp. If you're trying to push them in with your hand, it really hurts. Um, sometimes you can find a rock to hit them with. And sometimes you can't. This thing just plain works. It is absolutely it's almost worth the cost of admission right there for me. I, this is, I don't know who thought of this, but I wish I had thought of it. It's a really cool idea. It weighs hardly anything, and yet it just works. And it also, it's got enough of a groove here. You can kind of catch it, and, and you can pull them out with it, too. So <laughs> that little secret, uh, secret weapon there is pretty cool. I like the fact that it comes with a footprint, comes with a gear loft. It's got four corner pockets. It's got a bathtub floor. It's, um, you know, it's, it's not a super, super ultralight tent. But um, it's also, it's pretty decent for, for around the five, five and a half pound range for the whole setup. And you got several different options if you want to go lighter or go, you know, with a, a kind of a scaled down configuration. So um, I like that it's big enough. You can sit up in it. It's just a two doors entry. So if you got two people, you're not climbing over each other. It's just a, a very nice tent. So I think we've established that it's a pretty cool tent. It's got some pretty cool features. Um, one thing that's really important about tents, the purpose for this whole tent shelter thing here is to keep you from getting wet if it rains, pretty much. So, with that in mind, since it's not raining yet, it looks like it's going to, but I want to go ahead and wrap this up. We're going to um, do a Hollywood thing and manufacture a little rain, so let's see what happens. What do you think? Was that... A decent test let's see if it's dry inside okay so we are gonna go uh, go ghetto with the camera and we'll go handheld here let's see what we can figure out here so obviously we got some water on the drain fly unzipper there let's have a look inside see if we got any water anywhere in here because honestly I'm thinking it's probably pretty good and I don't see any, any, any water inside. It's completely, completely bone dry. Um, yeah, so pretty good there. So we'll just leave it up for a couple of days. So there you go. It's uh, it was pretty dry inside there. So we'll call that one pretty decent. Okay, well that's the hiking bike Zion two-person tent from the folks at hiking bike gotta say I think it's a pretty good choice for a tent I kind of like the bright fluorescent color, but they're coming out with some other colors So stay tuned to see what those look like but um, again Thanks to the folks at hiking bike for sending me this so I'll show it to you as always Thanks for watching survival on purpose I put out a brand new video every Friday and every Saturday very often random videos throughout the week If you check out a new one by clicking right over here And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please click down in the corner right there and subscribe click that little bell icon thing when you do and you can get notified when I put out those random videos. Can be putting out 
more camping videos this year camping gear backpacking gear stuff i hope so um be sure to stay tuned for that thanks so much for the support once again my name is brian you're watching survival on purpose remember survival is not an accident so be prepared i'll see you next time